At any second of any day, a major earthquake can strike in Manila when the West Valley Fault move. Experts say it is not a question of if, but a matter of when. According to FIVOX, when the West Valley Fault move, it can cause up to a 7.2 magnitude earthquake in Metro Manila in neighbor provinces and can cause 33,500 live casualties. It will also cost 1.8 to 2.3 trillion pesos to rebuild all the destroyed buildings and houses. We must all be prepared for the devastating effect of an earthquake. So what should we do? Or outside, stay there, resist the urge of running towards a building or shelter. Instead, drop to the ground, cover, and hold. In the restroom, remain there and cover your head with your arms to protect yourself from falling objects. At a desk or a table located near a window, get under it and pull your chair in as close as you can to shield yourself from breaking glass or falling debris. Hold on till the shaking stops. The reason to hold on to the table is if it moves, you move with it. When you are inside a building, do not go outside while the shaking is still happening. If you feel the first round motion, you should immediately drop to the floor. Take cover under a desk or a table. Resist the urge to panic and do not move from under the shelter. After an earthquake, check for injuries, provide first aid, and stay away from the damaged area. Ah, kailangan natin maging handa at maging alerto sa anumang sakuna. Wait guys, naramdaman nyo yun? Lumilindol. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Alalahanin natin yung sinabi ni ma'am. Duck, cover, and hold. Every day, the earth is shaken by hundreds of small earthquakes. Most go unnoticed. They usually occur along the boundaries of the thin plates that cover the earth like an eggshell. Driven by the heat deep within the earth's core, the plates grind against each other on long lines called faults. When the plates find their motion blocked, stress builds up. Finally, the fault gives way.